Years ago, if you had told me that one of my favorite paintings would be a still life of a mound of butter, I would have laughed. In line with some of the greats? No way. But it is, and I'm not alone in thinking that. In the mid to late 1800s, French artist Antoine Vaillon painted a still life of a large mound of butter, sitting half-wrapped next to two eggs. At that time, butter was handmade in batches and wrapped in cheesecloth. When I see this painting, I almost feel like I'm standing in a 19th century kitchen as the cooks go about their work. Voyon was considered by many to be a painter's painter, creating his works with loose bravura strokes and a masterful use of color. He was known for his still lifes and landscapes, and seems to have modeled his palette after the 17th century Dutch painters and Spanish masters. This piece in particular is luscious. I think one reason why it's one of my favorites is that he took a simple mound of butter and made it beautiful. It's also visually interesting. The first thing I notice are the lines created by the bristles in his brush. Can you see them? If we look even closer, we can start to see some of his layering process. We can see what was likely his base layer, or one of his base layers. It's a bit transparent over what looks like possibly a brown imprimatura. Then you have an opaque layer, and then one with more white. Next, he uses these brief strokes, which look like he's actually lifting the paint. But actually, there may be some brown on his brush as well. That brown in the background with the transparent gold on top of it almost makes it look cool, doesn't it? But all the colors that appear to be used in this painting are warm. That translates to the viewer. Even the whites are wonderful to look at. You can see the translucent areas of the paint where the layer is thin, and then the thicker areas. You can see the direction of his strokes. Now notice these strokes of brown. They tend to recede because they're darker, but in reality, they're one of the top layers. Another thing to observe is how fast he strokes at times, which you can really see at the top of the handle. So again, by looking closely, you can start to figure out how he layered his paint. When we scroll down a little, we see the eggs. Here on the one egg, it looks like it could possibly be a finger mark, the way the mark is formed. And we have this big mound of impasto paint. It looks to me like it came off the edge of his brush. I love the waves of brush strokes. You don't even notice it when you see the picture from a distance. But when you really look at it, it helps create something visually exciting. Now, if we look over here near the bottom of the handle, or the spoon, whatever that is, you can see this area that looks like it was probably done with a palette knife. How do we know that? Well, you can see that it's smeared, but there are no brush lines. And it was applied after these brush lines. See how it laps over them? But this section, like I said, is solid and it has hard edges, which is normally an indicator of using a palette knife. Apparently, Voyon is one of those artists that will use whatever means necessary to achieve the look he's after. A contemporary critic described him this way, quote, He can paint with anything, the brush, the palette knife, the finger, the coat sleeve, each is employed where it alone can do the work. You can tell that when he painted, he absorbed himself in his subject. He felt it, and he achieves this wonderful look in many of his other pieces as well. That helps explain why many refer to him as a second Chardin. 